In this Excel file, I have a data entry sheet with two columns where I would like users to select a country and then a city from that country. I would like a drop down list in each of these columns. So here they can select from a drop down list of countries and then only the city for whatever country they have selected should show up in column C. There's another sheet here called My List, and I have a list of the two countries and two lists that show the cities from Canada and the cities from USA. To use those lists here, I'm going to name the lists on this sheet. So I'm selecting these two cells that are the country names and click in the name box up here and type a one word name. So I'll call this country list and then press enter to complete that name. Same for these city lists. So I'll select those three names and call that Canada list and press enter. And for this one, I'll select those cities and call that USA list. So I ended all the names with list and I'll be able to use that later when I'm creating my drop downs. I'll press enter here now. So now I have the three names that I created. Back on the data entry sheet, I'm going to create a drop down list for country. So I select all those cells and on the data tab, I'll click data validation. On the settings tab here, right now it's just set for any value in the cell. I would like a list and as the source, I would like my country list. So on the keyboard, I'll press the F3 key. That shows me a list of those names and I would like country list here, click OK and it puts an equal sign in front of that range name for me. I'll click OK, and now you can see a drop down in the active cell, and I'll select a country. It shows Canada or USA, and I'll select USA. Now we want to do the same thing for city, but we can't say use Canada list here or USA. We would like Excel to automatically show the correct list. We're going to use data validation again, and again, a list. If I click in here and press F3, I can't say whether to show USA list or Canada list. I want Excel to calculate that for me based on the country that is selected. So I'm going to use a formula here. I'll start with an equal sign and I'll use the indirect function. I-N-D-I-R-E-C-T, open bracket. And then we want it to figure out which country we selected. So the current cell that we're in is C2. So we want it to look at B2. So I'm going to do a dollar sign and B because we want it to stay in column B and then just a two because as we move down the rows, we want that row to change. Indirect is going to create a reference to whatever is in B2 and then we want to add list to the end of that. So an ampersand, double quote, list, double quote, and close the bracket. Indirect will now find a reference to USA list. When I click OK, because we've already selected USA, we can see the USA list now. This country has not been selected, so if I try and select a city, nothing will happen because it will try and join blank with list and we don't have a range that's just named list. As soon as I select Canada, I can see the list of cities in Canada. We have to be careful though, it's not foolproof because someone could go back now and select a different country here, even though we've selected a city from Canada, we could still go back and change this. But it's a way to help users select the right information by limiting what shows in a dropdown.